Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to do a photo to cartoon or turn a portrait into a panel uh, for a graphic novel. So I've got a picture of Emma Watson and we're going to use this as our main image. So the settings I use on this um, might change depending on your image size, so just bear that in mind. Um, but we're going to jump straight in and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to duplicate our main image. We can do that by pressing Control J or Command J on the Mac. We're going to rename the layer and we're going to call this Outline. Okay, so we're now going to apply uh, a filter. So we're going to apply filter and that filter is going to be under Filters, uh, Filter Gallery, and then it's under Artistic and you want poster edges. So we want edge thickness to be 10, uh, edge integrity to be 10. Okay, and then you also want posterization to be six. So we're gonna hit six and click okay. We now need to turn this into a black and white uh, sketch. So what we're gonna do to do that is go to uh, image adjustments and hit threshold and we want to bring the threshold right down to around uh, 10 yep yeah, that's fine hit ok and what we can do now is if you if there's any blemishes on here you don't want uh, we can just grab a brush grab the white and we can just paint out any sort of blemishes on her face that we don't want. Um, I'm going to go for quite a clean, clean sort of look on this. There we go. Just make sure it's nice and there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to go and smooth this out a bit. It's a bit ragged at the moment, but we can smooth it out by going to filter and we're going to use the oil paint filter and the settings for this I'm going to use are 5 and 2 so 5 for stylization and 2 for the cleanness everything else I'm going to put at 0 so the shine and everything down to 0 so the reason we run um, the oil paint filter is it just smooths everything out, makes it look uh, very sort of pencil-y, pen-drawn, um, just makes it a lot cleaner. The smoother, it gives it a brush stroke effect really. So we're going to hit OK on that. And we need to create the colour layer. So we're going to hit and click on the, the background image and we're going to control J to duplicate. And we're going to call this layer color now it is always a good idea to name your layers okay it's good practice get into the habit of it it makes it a lot easier you don't lose things when you're working on large projects I'm gonna turn off the visibility of the outline layer so click the little eye icon and I'm gonna click and make sure that the color layer is selected I'm then gonna add a filter and I'm gonna go to filter gallery and again I'm gonna add the uh, artistic and the artistic section I'm going to add poster edges and this time I'm going to go for uh, 002 so 0 0 and 2 okay so what this does is um, it tells the the color layer to uh, the amount of sort of colors we want to use it reduces it to give it a more cartoonish um, quality look and feel okay but we do need to enhance this further so once we've clicked OK on this okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to add an image adjustment so we're going to go to image adjustments and levels and on the output levels okay we're going to slide the slider to the right just to make everything a little bit brighter do that about 50 click OK okay and then we're going to go to uh, again image adjustments and we want hue and saturation and we're going to move the saturation to around plus 35 give that an OK 
Okay, and this adds a bit of vibrancy to the image. Um, we need to soften the color image a little. So again, we're gonna go to uh, filter, and we're gonna go to the oil paint again. Okay, and this time we're gonna make the uh, stylization eight. And I think the cleanliness will do about five. Okay. And we're gonna click okay on that. Um, we're gonna turn on the visibility of our outline layer. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna change the blend mode of the outline layer. So we're gonna click on the outline layer, we're gonna to go to the blend mode and we're gonna take that and make it multiply. And as you can see, our image comes through quite nicely now. Okay, and it blends with the image below it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean this up a little bit more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new adjustment layer. Okay, and we're gonna do levels, but we're gonna do it down here on the layer palette. So we're just gonna come down here, I'm gonna click a new layer, I'm gonna create a levels, okay? And um, we're gonna pull the shadow and highlight slider towards the center. So this is the shadows and highlights. This is the shadows. Okay, and this is the highlights. Okay, I'm just gonna get it, don't want it too bright, because that'll take away a lot of your, your cartoon. But you can do it just there. So you see that? So if we go here, it looks quite, it doesn't look quite quite right. But if we go slightly more there, and that's what you're looking for, the sort of the cartoon style effect. And that is us done. Hope you like this tutorial. Um, I find it a really nice technique to use, uh, especially if you're you're working on a comic strip or, or you just want something a little bit different. So like, subscribe and share.